nach. Ja, ja. <lacht> Also make sure you guys comment on this video. Let me know about any future mods that you want to see on this car or again any suggestions what I should do with the engine and whatnot. I ain't gonna go too dumb on this car because it's just gonna be like a little project, not a major project. I'm not trying to race in it, I'm just trying to act stupid. But let me go ahead and show y'all what it look like. Alright, so it's a 2014 Dodge Charger RT coming with 370 horsepower. I think like 375. Yeah, 375. Yeah, with torque and all that. That ain't right, y'all gonna look at that and look at Go ahead and show them what it look like. I'm about to go ahead and get our clothes car real quick. We can barely see you. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool, you know. Alright, good. <laughs> Super clean, man. This car was well taken care of. Man, it looks better than most of these 2015 to 2020 out here. Yeah, also we got the K&N air filter right here. The filter kind of dirty. I'm gonna go buy another one. That's just the one that came with. But like I said, everything else is pretty much self-explanatory. All right, so now y'all see what this thing look like. I'm doing like all the other videos. The new keys, bro. New keys, brother. New keys. Let, let, let me grab that. <laughs> but anyway, like this ugly key anyway. Look at it. Look how they gave it. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, like any other video, let's go ahead and get up in this thing. I'm sure y'all want to look like in the inside. All right, so as y'all can see in here, we got black on blue, black interior. One thing I do not like is these seats. They cloth, I'm going to change these joints out. They comfortable, but I don't like them. They don't even say RT on it or none of that. But yeah, the steering wheel just basically, you know, like any other Dodge. Now, they do look a little bit different from the 2015s. All right. But yeah, also, you got your little glove department over here. Come with all the, you know, the labels, my title information. You know what I mean? This is in my name, so don't think there's no mom and daddy stuff. You know what I mean? I know I'm 20, but that title says Shaquem Bear. Anyways, let me go ahead and show y'all. So, hey, you know, you got your little charger joint in here. You got an aux core. I think if you plug it up to this one, this one also do Bluetooth to the sound. You got the other little, I think, 12 volt in there. You know what I mean? Coin joint, whatever that's called. You got your cup holder right here. I really like this, man. I really do. Yeah. Oh, it got some lights. Yeah. I wish it was, uh, what you call it? Like automatic, but whatever, man. I can't get with everything. I'm also changing this shifter right here. I don't like it. It's kind of basic. But on that thing, you got your radio, you got your CD player, whenever you want to uh, connect your phone. You got your controls. I always ride in sport. I'm going to go ahead and delete that on. Climate, you know what I mean? You got your uh, ventilated seats and all that. You, know, you can change the modes and all that and whatnot. When you on Bluetooth, uh, your phone goes to this right here and it shows you like who you're on the phone with. You can choose whether or not you want your uh, contacts to show up. Boys, if y'all got crazy baby mamas, y'all always want to hit no on that. <laughs> but yeah, and then you got the sands right here that go up and down just like that. Now, this back seat is so... I was fail. <laughs> this back seat is so nice, man. But again, I'm changing these seats. They come from... You got your little joint right here uh, with the cup holder, armrest. Also, guys, most people don't know, but you can just pull this down and they can go straight to the trunk. Pull that little ash over there. Yeah, pull it. But yeah, also you got another little charge port right here. You got your AC and whatnot. Hey, show them the tent when you close the door. The mm -hmm. tent is like already 20% in the back, but I need it in the front and on the windshield. Go ahead and show them. I see you look at the back and then look at the front. Now to get to the trunk, like a little button right here. Come on, show them this. Like a little button right here, you just press that guy. But this back seat is so big. I mean, I got my stuff back here. I just went shopping. And I never wear the stuff that I buy. I keep buying stuff. But anyways, I'm going to put all that to the back. Got my HVAC stuff right here. Ten of rackets. Show them this uh, roof right here. Now, this car, uh, it came with the, the beat speakers. They sound so good. I would show y'all, but it's copyright. But they sound so good. Uh, up under here, you got the tire. Most people don't know. The battery is in the trunk of the challenges and the charges. I think the crisis too, but I don't know. And then also you got a little fuse box back here. You got one back here, you got one in the engine. Look at your manual, you'll know where everything is. Now we're gonna close that guy. 
Let me show y'all another thing. I don't like this little basic RT sound right here. I want the red one, man. Depending on what color I get this guy, that's gonna determine what the RT color gonna be. Uh, I mean, I guess that's pretty much it. Before y'all say anything, that traction control light is purposely on. <laughs> I had to pull a few so I can do burnouts and donuts and all that. So go ahead, Sean. As y'all can see, we got 160 on the dash, but you know, we like to go way faster than that. Oh yeah. In order to change the modes and check like your fuel economy or speed or whatever you want to put the dash on, set it on, you change with the arrows and then of course if you want to put cruise you change it. We're not going to change the cruise though. Vehicle speed and then to go back you just press back. I'm going to go on a little ride. Y'all ready? I got so much more coming for this car, like so many mods. Got a lot of videos coming, so make sure if you have not already subscribed, make sure you go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell and also comment on this video, whatever y'all think I should do, whether y'all like the content or not. Just like that, I'll see y'all in the next video.